of it was to really cherish moments before the world was completely shut down and normal cheerleading, normal school, getting to see your friends normally. It's just you really cherish the moments that you have with your friends and not to take it for granted. I learned how to be strong and how to take things and um, be flexible. And I think our team definitely learned that too. A year missed for so many has only led to greater anticipation and ambition. It's time for the Cheerleading Worlds. Cheerleading Worlds. The wait is over. Two divisions competing here today. The Senior All-Girl and the International Open Large Co-Ed Level 7 teams. Well, in the International Division, Amy, we're going to see the college level skills. High flying baskets, two and a half high pyramids, so lots of difficulty in action-packed routines. Well, we talked about the two divisions. The first one up will be the all-girl division, and we can honestly tell you, this is the most competitive division in cheerleading, literally across the planet. Well, there's only five teams that have ever won in the large senior division, and four are here in the finals, including the defending champs, the World Cup Shooting Stars. They had the highest score on day one, but none of the teams were perfect, so really, any one of them could win the title today. Well, and those scores are wiped away. They're only used for the way the order goes in competition here for this final round, so it's anybody's chance to take home the top gold prize. Well, Amy, here are the five teams that have won this division, and at the top, World Cup has twice as many championships as any of the others. Well, speaking of World Cup, here they are getting a final tune-up in, up in the practice gym. Well, let's get started down on the main floor. Cheer Athletics, the Panthers from Dallas are up first. They did struggle yesterday, but have a fresh outlook here for the finals. Yesterday, we didn't get exactly what we've been working for. We kind of let go, like we let the doubt in our minds, but today we are just having fun. We're bonding together, and we want to hit that zero that we've been working really hard for these past few weeks. Maximum number on the floor is 38. Cheer Athletics has the full 38 in their squad. And a big start there, those basket tosses. These routines are two and a half minutes long. Packed with skills like this, tumbling elements, along with those stunts, pyramids, and tosses. Of course, the dance and that overall impression throughout the routine, the judges looking for that performance value, unique transitions, and high energy.
great difficulty packed into that wow. section. As they transition into the pyramid. Flexibility there. It's elements like that that are so important how they get into these stunts, the transitions, formations. are made better with our furry friends and we're here to make those walks motions and going, going out there and having a fun time. The pyramid section in particular looks really exciting. Can you walk us through what's happening? Well, we first start off with follow-ups, switch-ups to the stretch, and then we lead into a front flip, which brings from both sides of the floor, and we all meet in the middle, do another front flip, and we add birdles and back flips everywhere, just trying to really please the eye when it comes to flips everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Amanda, that's all you. You can explain it as it rolls out. This entire routine is packed with skills. Standing, tumbling to the front, very dynamic. Stingrays are always known for their technique, their form. You'll see that throughout. Nice high flying baskets, good synchronization.
Well, this is a veteran squad. More than half of them returned because of the off year with COVID. They all wanted to come back and try to get it here again. The Stingray Orange out of Marietta, Georgia. Well, they are well-rounded, that is for sure, but watch this stunt sequence. Bring hands, bring up. Show a variety of positions, drop it down, spin it around, and then to that inverted position while they're spreading out, testing the stability of the stunts, create that ripple effect. Fun to watch. Complete exhaustion after two minutes and 30 seconds of a routine. They put as much into it as they could. Congratulations to the Stingrays. Nice performance. Cheer Extreme heads to the mat now. Earlier, we had the chance to speak with them about their strategy for this final round. Things that we're proud of is just hitting, you know, and doing our best. And tomorrow, like, today we're just going to go harder. And we made a couple changes for the judges to appeal to them. And then hopefully that's, we do, we 